and hung, hung. So that is the sound for that soul health. And again, it would be all of the organs in this part of our body. That's just, it is a major, major area. Um, so when we, these three soul houses are strong when they're radiating light, when they are um, improving, because in, it can always improve in quality. So the stronger they become, this whole entire part of our body becomes stronger. We have a very solid foundation. And when we have a really solid foundation, there are really incredible possibilities open in front of us. Um, some people want very much to open their spiritual channels. They want to be able to do a flow. They want to be able to connect with a particular saint, with the divine, and have a conversation. They want to be able to open their third eye. And the secret is to focus here. Many people will focus here and here, and it prolongs the effort. Or it will drain them. So when we have a strong foundation, then we're able to hold the light. We're able to do all, we have almost limitless possibilities in front of us. So this is Hongya. And so, the hand position, the hand position is going to remain the same for the whole entire um, Divine Soul Song of Yin Yang. And the visualization will remain the same. We will visualize light radiating in that particular soul house, but we will keep our attention in the Hui Yin. Okay. So deep inhale, and I was I was watching, and there are some people who, when you're doing deep inhale, you are you are doing very deep inhale, but also doing this. So it it helps a great deal to only have the um, the fullness come from the abdomen, and then to allow your the rest of your body to fill. When the rest of your body fills, you will not be moving your chest up and down. Okay? Deep inhale.
So this is the the chant, the song for the third soul house. And when you do this practice, it's very good to do each one. You know, begin with the first one. Always begin with the first one. And you really can do the first one just by itself. Uh, it's better to start at the first, then go to the second, then go to the third. But you can do it differently. They're, it's not rigid. One thing about Master Shah's teachings is they are not rigid. There is divine flexibility. So if you feel a need to you know, really focus on Hong Yao, do it. So this, this is the practice 